fitness and health and academic terminology. Say this. I graduated college with a 3.92 GPA, summa cum laude, highest honors. Which means that the bulk of my grades was not only A's, but they were near perfect. If the bulk of my grades would have been an F, D, C, or B, I would have been an F, D, C, or B student. Which also means if the bulk of my grades are A's and I happen to make an F, then I'm an A student who happened to make an F. And in retrospect, if the bulk of my grades are F and I happen to make an A, then I'm an F student who happened to make an A. And fitness and health is the exact same way. If you're a person like me who runs pretty much every day, and then you decide to take one day off, then you're a runner who took a day off. But if you're a person that sits around and does nothing every day, and then you decide to run one day, ding, 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 ding. Then you're a person who normally does nothing, who decided to run one day. And if you're a person like me who normally consumes healthy and nutritious foods, and then you decide to eat something that may not be as fuel efficient, and you guess right again. You're now a person who normally eats healthy and nutritious, who just ate something that may not be as fuel efficient. Moral of the story, nobody's perfect, but the bulk of what we do decides who and what we are at the core. Confidence cannot be humble. Let go!